First up on the bulletin, there's breaking news coming in that the revolt within the ICC is growing bigger and bigger as D-Day approaches. Because you have to remember, at uh, ICC's uh, executives conference that will begin tomorrow in Dubai, the proposal that has been created by the BCCI, the ECB, by Cricket Australia to try and rule the world of cricket will be put to vote. And before that, we've seen lots of former ICC administrators come out in support, lots of former legends come out in support. Now, even the ICC associate nations have joined the revolt. They've said that what the proposal says that it'll do is completely unacceptable. For more on this story, let's go across to Borea Majumdar, a consulting editor. And uh, Borea, it seems that the associate nations, along with uh, more former cricketing legends, have joined the revolt. Yeah, it's interesting. I mean, it's unprecedented because the uh, Associate Nations led by Tung Pulmran, who's a former chairman of the Associate Nations and a vice president of the ICC, sending out this uh, uh, letter to Alan Isaac, the president. So clearly, they have joined the ranks. But more importantly, big voices, Michael Atherton, Martin Crow, John Anderson, Clive Lloyd, all of these people have openly come out uh, against this proposal. The fact is, will that matter? because will ultimately it will have to be the boards which will put the proposal to vote. You know, will India and some of the other boards com compromise on some of the aspects? From what I am getting to here, if the revenue sharing bit is agreed to, India will be willing to compromise on some of the other matters, like the relegation point, like the FCP, like some of the other points raised in the proposal. So there might be a compromise. Because the big three understand that you know there is a lot of dissension now. Perhaps the proposal in its entirety cannot be passed. So India's main bone of contention is the revenue aspect. If that is agreed to, they will compromise on the others. But whatever it is, it will not be the meeting tomorrow and the after that we decide. Because it will have to be put to the ICC general body. Because it involves an amendment. But I have never seen world cricket being polarized like this. True. What I have seen over the last couple of days. Hey, thanks a lot, Borea, for getting us that update. Let's all.